Ai, ai, ai. Vrând că Jeff. Olha, o Jeff tem todo o tempo para fazer, o Jeff disse que mora atrás, ainda não chegou. E achas quanto tempo é que eu devo demorar ainda? 10 minutos. Oh, Jeff! Hello. What's up, man? You're late. You're late. Yeah, dude, what's up? How's it going? So, what's happening? Yeah. It is vlog day. The vlog. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the greatest vlog in the world. My name is Jeff, your favorite tour guide in Madeira, and... Hold on, 001, that's America, Philadelphia, oh cool. Hit the road Madeira, how can I help you? Well, yeah, yeah, no. I guess I'm gonna... Hello, 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 is okay, there no... I, I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the vlog for him. This is a takeover now. Hi, my name is Andre. I'm the editor and the filmmaker for this channel. And uh, I, th I guess, I guess today we can talk about um, yeah, let's talk about cinema in Madeira, shall we? Um, I think he, he doesn't mind it. The first ever film exhibition in the world was held in Paris by the Lumiere brothers on the 20th of December 1895. One year and four months after we had our film exhibition here in Funchal on the 15th of May 1897 by the Rodriguez brothers, the early proprietors of Bazar do Povo. The program consisted of 12 short films and it was shown here in Teatro Dona Maria Pia, nowadays known as Teatro Municipal Baltazar Dias. But it wasn't only here that cinema was in Funchal. Many other venues were scattered around the city, like Pavilion Grande, Casino Victoria, Cine Jardim, and many others. It was here in 1933, in Ponto do Sol, that the first cinema venue outside of Funchal was constructed by Antonio Marques Teixeira. Cinesol is proof that cinema can pass borders. The original building still stands to this day and inside you would find 300 seats. The first ever film shown here was one year after its construction in 1934, The Flame of the Desert. The municipality of Ponto do Sol already supported many film productions, making it a hub for modern cinema. But what about cinema production? Back then, films were observational, meaning that it was a document of everyday life. And people from all across the globe could watch what was happening in Egypt, China, India, and even Madeira. An example of that was the 1926 film O Fauno das Montanhas, shot by Madeiran filmmaker Manuel Luiz Vieira. It was shot here in the beautiful mountains of Rebassal, and as you can imagine, during the 20s, they had to come here other than by car. They came here by donkey. Yes, by donkey. And he had to carry all of his camera gear in his back while uh, going through the Levadas here. So it shows you the kind of dedication that Madeiran people have. The film tells the story of Jenny, the daughter of the naturalist Mr. Garten. Jenny, having a creative mind, imagined that the Levada tunnels were a portal to hell and that the mountain guide was some sort of fawn well, I do sometimes think of Jeff a little bit like a fawn, but that's for another video. It wasn't always observational films. During the 60s, 70s and 80s, cinema production in Madeira started booming. And many different directors from Germany, Spain, Italy and even France came here to make their films. The example of that was Denis Amar's French film Enemies in Teams. It was shot right here in Canicel. It tells the story of an isolated cinema run by two men, husband and lover, who fight for the same woman. But they have to merge forces to resist a vengeful mob that wants to settle accounts with one of them. Unfortunately, the original building got demolished after the shoot, but you can still see here the remains on the floor. And it keeps me thinking, what other kinds of mysteries do we have here in Madeira? It was here, in this little alley, that everything started for me and my brother. We used to shoot ourselves um, doing silly stuff, silly videos, funny videos. Uh, but slowly, I think we were um, falling in love with the process of uh, making something. And we thought it was funny, 
right? Yeah, yes. Uh, it was our perception of our what comedy. Yeah, yes, it was yeah. our perception of what comedy was at that time. You know, it changed a little bit now. But uh, yeah, it was our beginning. I was 12. You were 15. 15, yeah. And uh, I wouldn't go as far to say this was your film school, but in a way, it was your pre-film school. You know, we didn't really have a perception of what the difference was between a director and an actor. Yeah, know? for sure, for sure. You know, I remember sometimes I would look at you and you were behind the camera yes. and I would say, yeah, let's cut now. Like if I was the director, the director. I, I wasn't the director <laughs> yeah, at the yeah, time yeah. you were, you know. Yeah, yeah, of course. It, that was supposed to be your role. But unconsciously, we were creating something, you know. It wasn't cinema, you know, it wasn't. It was uh, more like uh, entertainment, yeah, online uh, digital entertainment. Yeah, because, because we were doing this for YouTube. Yes, so. and we didn't know what cinema was. We didn't we know. We didn't know even. By chance, we had like a, a digital camera that filmed yeah, because yeah. The, that camera was for photos. Yeah, I think yeah. it was like something stupid, like four megapixels or something yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah. And it filmed in 480 resolution, 480 yeah. resolution or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. So it was an HD yeah, it and it was four by three. So yes. we didn't have like a plan or anything. It was yeah. on the go, very... The, yeah, there wasn't a script, yeah. you know. I remember one video, you <laughs> oh know. Oh my God. Uh, 10 hours of production. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 10 yeah. hours. And we thought in that was crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 10 hours and we were, whoa, like pre-production, filming, editing, and, and delivering, delivering the video. 10 hours. 10 hours. And we were like, whoa, this is like a big f***ing deal. And you know, 10 hours is what? It's, 10 it's, hours is nothing. It's nothing a really. shooting day nowadays. Uh, yeah. You know? A shooting, a just shooting shoot. day. It's completely different now. So we started in 2017 to try and make something more uh, uh, yeah. robust, more solid, more professional. Mm -hmm. And we started doing documentaries. Our first documentary as a, a group, PopSec Studio, was Raison de Vivre, The Reason of Life. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and in a way, we were doing that this, at the same time that we were discovering our reason to live as well. Yeah, so yeah. it was very meta, in a way. Yes, uh, yes. We went to ask some people, you know, what was your reason to live? And as we were listening to them, we were starting to realize, well, maybe this being is... behind, you know, uh, doing this, this kind of stuff, listening to people, listening to people's stories and telling them, you know, and being inspired by them, that's the role of a filmmaker, you know. Yeah, exactly. And we were discovering that. I think it was really a beautiful project as the first really like more robust professional looking project yeah yeah it was really beautiful to do that yeah. we were in a box and once we got out of that box yeah. we started making some real stuff well when i was 14 years old i started watching movies because i was bored of video games i wasn't very good at that so i i just put that aside i started watching what interested me like animation you know disney movies and then I got to see some live action comedies and then some dramas, you know, it was different. And then some action movies and then my first black and white movie. It was like this really slow process. And then I saw this movie, Jungle Unchained. And that was the movie that changed everything for me because that movie, I thought, you know, this is so cool, this movie, this movie is so cool. And then I watched Inglorious Bastards and I realized that the same name there was, in the end of Django Unchained, it was in the end of Inglorious Bastards, which was written and directed by Quentin Tarantino. And I was like, well, this is, this is the same person. And the movie had the same vibe. And then I saw Kill Bill, written and directed by Quentin Tarantino. Huh. And then I saw Pulp Fiction, written and directed by Quentin Tarantino. And I realized, oh, so a director is that you know a movie is not just the actors in front of the camera and the story the director behind the camera is 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 giving the audience their vibe their style and I, then i said to myself you know i want to do that <laughs> this sounds fun so i decided to direct the first movie I wrote was Dada. It was this eight-minute short film, really inspired by the movies of Gaspar Noé and Surrealism and Dadaism, you know. It was fun, you know, it was eight minutes, it was quick, it, it taught me some stuff. It was co-directed by my brother, <laughs> André Benis Vieira, and then I decided to do something more grounded, but 
still experimental and kind of surreal, which was Belmiro, Belmiro, Belmiro. It was kind of bigger, you know, uh, 15 minutes. Uh, it had, you know, it had dialogue. It was a monologue, but it had dialogue. The other movie, it was, it was just visual. I started to have an eye for acting, you know, direct actors. That was something that fascinated me, you know. I'm from the theater and I decided to direct actors, so that was really interesting. Mad Dog Fever tells the story of a family facing a really hard divorce. It is set in two separate houses, you know, the house of the father who is alone and left alone by the family, by their family, including his biological son. So he is a mess. His house is a mess. His head is a mess. He doesn't know what the hell he's doing. He's drunk or he is working out, but then he's drinking again while working out. And you know, the guy is just lost. And then there's the house of the mother, Queen House, a new beginning. She wants to be away from that figure, a new start. But the war happens. The father goes to her wife's house, ex-wife's house, the ex-wife goes to his house. So there's this intersection and it's really a movie about human behavior. The subject of war is present in daily life reality, in our reality, behind our doors, behind our closed doors, in, your, in our rooms, in our kitchen, in our living room, there's war happening. We ended production in August of last year and now we're in post-production still. This is a Madeiran production with Madeiran talent and we did it with the means uh, that we had at our disposal. We have a really big ambition of bringing you this movie, of delivering this movie in many places as we can. In Portugal, around the globe. Yes, internationally. And, yeah, and for that we need your help to cooperate with us. That's why we started a crowdfunding campaign on Indiegogo. And by supporting us, you can have access to exclusive content such as... The behind the scenes, you can see what was the process of doing that in the shooting days. Outtakes, the bloopers. The bloopers, yes. Which are, which are always fun to watch. Audio commentary with the actors, the reaction of the actors watching the movie. A poster, for yeah. example, a signed poster a signed by poster. us and all the actors. The Madeiran talent we have here. Yeah. So yeah, uh, you can have access to all of this exclusive content only for supporters. The campaign is ending at the end of this week. Yeah. Uh, so this today is Monday. The crowdfunding ends on the 24th of April and on Sunday. So yeah. we have a whole week of campaigning still. Every amount is more than welcome because yeah. we, we need this to, in order to um, represent Madeira, yeah. ourselves, our work, but also the talent of these actors. I could say they're like international grade actors. Of course, they're not as famous as internationally, yeah. internationally known actors, but they have so much potential. And I speak for you that we got super surprised at the quality of their delivery, their take on these characters. Yeah. I think they gave it all. They gave yeah. life to these characters. It's such a great, Thing of hearing the sound of the dialogue you wrote. That's just great. And one of the things was, I wrote these parts for this specific actor. So it's really refreshing. And it was a lot of hard work and we want people to see, you know, the beautiful thing they did, we did, you know, with your help, we can create this community of people who is eager to watch stuff made here in Madeira. Yeah, not just for us, but many others, uh, many other directors and creatives that we have here in Madeira. We do have potential um, and it feels good to know that we're not the only ones doing this here. Yeah. So we're not pioneers or anything as you, as you saw in the beginning of the video. Cinema was always 
a part of modern history since its beginning, oh, since yes, its, yes. its inception. We want to be part of that and we want to represent our island. Yeah, it's an island that's screaming, that's saying, shoot me, because I am a movie star. Not you know? shooting like, psh, psh, no, 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 shoot no. with a Film camera. Me. Film, Film me. <laughs> Film me. Yeah, yeah. And that's where, what we're going to talk about in our next section. What about the future of cinema here okay. in Madeira? Sorry, dude. Okay, we can... Let's do this. Let's shoot. Uh, I already started. Yeah. You already started? Yeah. 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 While you run on the phone. Oh, fantastic. Let's go get some food and let's... Uh, yeah, let's keep it rolling. Well, you said you started, right? Yeah, I, I did. It, I hope it's good. It is, I think. You think it's good? Yeah. Okay, let's, let's go. Yeah. Time is money, let's go. <laughs> This magically appeared on my hands. <laughs> He's not used to this anymore, yeah? No, I'm not. <laughs> it's vlog Cheers. tricks. Cheers. Oh yeah. I wanted to talk about the future of cinema and that the potential that that, that Madeira has uh, in uh, in cinema. In cinema, in, yes. In modern cinema, yeah. Exactly. Um, what are your thoughts about that? Well, first of all, I'm not exactly the the the, the, the right person to speak to, but we had a guest uh, for this vlog, which unfortunately couldn't make it. My good friend Elsa, who I hope she doesn't mind me uh, naming her on, on, on the vlog, but um, we were neighbors and she organized the Madeira Film Festival for a couple of years. And that I, of course, knows her as well, because I mean, frankly, when we talk about the future of cinema, we're talking about Andrea. <laughs> me? You. Come on, no. I'm but, not the only one, and I'm glad I'm not. not. Yes. The cameras are getting cheaper uh -huh. and easier, right? So, like, yes. a now 4,000 euro, 5,000 oh, yeah, euro yeah. camera... Yeah, for sure. For is, sure. ...is approved on Netflix. Exactly. Which means that the barrier to entry into filmmaking and cinema is not as difficult is not as, as difficult as or expensive yeah. as it used to be i think that's the number one thing is mm -hmm. that the gear is becoming cheaper which mm -hmm. is solving the problem of not having enough gear of course hopefully yeah number two i think that more people are going direct to consumer you know so now you can go directly to netflix and be like hey I have a show, do you want to buy it? Mm -hmm. um, you can appoint a meeting with them. Which means which means there is some kind of, you know, process that you can go behind. Of course, I have no idea what it is. Uh, you know, that's Me gonna... neither, yet, yet. Yeah, so, <laughs> so, I mean, I believe, and without also, this is a real vlog, we're talking about real things. I know that you had an issue with the, with some support for your film. Yes, it's not as easy to get um, cinematic uh, support, should I say. So. And support monetary support for cinema production especially in madeira but i mean i think in portugal in general unless it's like a touristic film uh, exactly about the history tourism, commercial yeah so if yes. you're doing anything like theatrical or, or cultural or, or, yeah, fictional. or fictional fictional yeah um, it's going to be tough and what i wanted to get to on this point is that we are now going into this new phase in life where producers of anything are going straight to consumers. Yeah, which, which that's, now... the that's the same for cinema, because exactly. a, a distribution company had to put this, the, the, the film itself to a, a lot of different uh, cinema theaters, and now people are getting right directly to Netflix, and Netflix is, uh, is a service that people can go directly to it and select the movie that they're gonna, right. they're gonna, they're, they're gonna watch. So it's exactly yeah, and you're right if, and, and for everything. If it's not Netflix, you know, it can be a very, it can be a, a custom thing. It can be a physical copy. It can be, you can really make it whatever you want it to and sell it to whoever you want it to. This is the beauty of the internet. This is why we put so much effort, you know, into speaking with you guys and to connect with you guys. If you're watching and you're a cinema fan, you have to support this kid because first of all, if you haven't noticed, the true, the true star of this vlog is not me. It's no, this come on! Guy. No, 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 no! All right, no, no. he's, this, this he's is the wrong. one who makes this all is the wrong. magic happen. This is wrong. It's but anyway, him. It's him. I would love to see a a huge future of cinema in Madeira. I would. I mean, I love Madeira. I think Madeira is absolutely beautiful. Um, much more than well, I don't know much more because I haven't really seen too much of the Canary Islands. I believe there's a lot of film in the Canary Islands. Yes, Spain is a very huge country uh, regarding cinema. 
uh, amazing films being produced there, amazing directors, lots and lots of talent. And I believe that we have the same here in Portugal and especially here in Madeira as well. We just need uh, more attention. But I think that will change very soon. I hope so. So guys, support Andreas film, right? Because it's gonna it's gonna be good. This guy's gonna be amazing. Jeff, so, thank you very much for this opportunity for me to host this uh, this video and to connect with your audience. And uh, the sky's the limit. Let's let's go get it. Let's go get it. Cheers, bro. Thank you so much. To us. Mm. Pass my pass, pass that. Oh yeah yeah yeah. I gotta I gotta keep the trend. Yeah, of and before you do it, let's hit the road. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, of course. So you wanna say it? With no, me? you do it. You do okay. it. You do it. It's all yours, man. Yeah. Uh, so thank you very much. Wait, hit like and subscribe and. Let's hit the road.